Welcome. Today I have for you a record from the archives of Zeremlim, King of Mori. This record reads, One pair of leather shoes in the Capaphonian style, which to the palace of Hammurabi, King of Babylon, Bahadid Lim carried, but which were returned. You're probably wondering what is so interesting about an over 3,700 year old returns receipt. Well, I'll tell you, we have a over 3,700 year old returns receipt. It's not a treaty, it's not some other important document, it's a returns receipt from the Bronze Age. What's the chances of that surviving? And what's the chances of there being a return receipt from the Bronze Age? In this record, we see that King Zaham Lim of Mari sent shoes of the Keparothian, which is, I mean, Cretan style, to Hammurabi, King of Babylon. Both of these kings had had many alliances. So interestingly, they were returned, and we do not know why. And about a decade later, Hammurabi would sack Mari, and is presumed killed Zaram Lim, as Zaram Lim is no longer found in the historical record. Maybe Hammurabi did order those shoes through Zaram Lim, and spent the next ten years trying to get his money back. Or be marked to say his gold back as coinage had not yet been invented. Now, there has to be more to the reasons why Hammurabi declared war on his former ally than just bad customer service and, and shoes he didn't like. But that we may never know. But we do know that the world was rather more connected than one might think back then. And then a long distance trade, even for small single items like shoes. These days, all the shoes off the internet, they order them by sending people to get them. Whether for themselves or to send as a gift. Those working in customer service today should be glad they don't have to deal with angry customers like Hammurabi who will come and kill your boss and sack your city. <laughs> but we don't know if the sacking was at all to do with the return of the shoes. At that time, the practice of gift giving was often how kings would conduct trade between each other. As you've seen below them, you conduct normal trade, so instead they would gift each other, asking the other to gift them as sort of a gift. But a single pair of shoes as a gift seems rather, in trade, seems rather odd. It more seems as if either Zaram Lim ordered these from Crete, which would be on the far western side of the Bronze Mediterranean world, to gift to his ally Hammurabi. Either that or Hammurabi, knowing that Zaram Lim had good trade contacts asked him to order these shoes for him and then send them to him. But the record does not give enough information to give either one of those, but does give enough to know that Hammurabi was not pleased with them as he sent them back. And we can assume maybe he was really not pleased as a decade later he would destroy Mari.